So what is the work of composting? You're when you have a business, what what exactly well, yeah, what do you do? So we've got to get customers. Okay. So our team, you know, studies the the market for composting. You know, we were we were inspired to get into this market because we saw opportunity when the state announced a mandate that generators of a certain amount, it was one ton or more of food waste a week, were going to be required to separate and compost that material. Okay. So we built our, our brand around being good at helping businesses and institutions become good at composting. Okay. So we train people, we've set up systems, we provide the equipment for how do you separate that material, keep it clean. Source separation is the key. Mm -hmm. So we know how to make it work. So we, we do an assessment to see what level of service they need. We go in and we train, whether it's the back of the house food prep staff. A lot of times we're working with folks in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're working with folks in facilities, in larger buildings and places like that. Um, and then our the core of our service is we operate a, a fleet of trucks, uh, large and small, that are custom built to handle this organic material. And we provide the pickup services. We clean out all the equipment and we collect that material, make sure everything's going good. And we truck it from Boston to a couple of different farms, mm. you know, uh, 20 to 30 miles away. Okay. One of those farms, uh, we tip the truck and leave the, the beautifully source separated pre-consumer compost where it's eaten by cows and pigs at a farm. So that's called highest and best use for that material, right? That's material that before we were there was going in the trash. Um, the other place that we, the other farm that we take the material to is a composting facility. And I don't assume that people know about windrow composting. These are large farm-based um, facilities where they have plows and backhoes and trucks and all kinds of equipment and land where they combine leaves and yard waste. And, you know, those are compostable materials as well with the food scraps, which our composting partner calls the secret sauce that adds nutritional value yeah. to all that other, <clears throat> what you call brown and green waste, whether it's, you know, grass or we have a couple of um, customers who are landscapers. Mm. So when they go to do an installation, they take out the old grass and this and that. Or when they put a farm away for the for the winter time, there's a, there's material there that no. is better composted than put in the trash. And in the city, people have to make it go somewhere. Um, for the most part, people are not doing their own on-site composting. Yeah. Um, so that's our model. We work with the larger customers who who um, want to source separate that and have it re-earthed. And we also often in the growing season will, after we tip at the, at the uh, composting facility, we'll pick up this beautiful, rich composted soil products and bring it back to the city to support urban farming. 